This is the fourth video of a series where I'm using GeoGebra for explaining uh, how it can be used to teach computational physics or engineering mechanics. Okay, so uh, we have dealt with creating geometry using some code that can be written here. Now here we will be looking at how to start uh, teaching vector addition, vector subtraction and other things using GeoGebra. Okay, so let's look at the code. So I would like to define capital O is equal to 0 comma 0. That is the origin. Now capital A is another point. Let us give as 5 comma 6 point. Now if we want a vector between O and A, so I can have vector OA is equal to capital vector between O and A. So a vector has been drawn from O to A. Okay. Now, if we have another point, let's say point B is equal to minus 3, 5. This is the second point. Now we want another vector O B is equal to vector between O and B. Please remember sometimes students make a mistake of typing zero here. Then there will be few errors or result is not shown. Okay, yeah, there's some problem here. What is it? Yeah, so I didn't write point B properly. I should have just written B. Okay, so there is an error because try to get rid of it. It happens a while. Just delete everything that comes in between. Okay, B is equal to minus B comma I. That is point B. Vector B this is a vector between zero, sorry, O and B. Okay, so there we have two vectors. Now, if the students have to add vectors, we have taught them uh, parallelogram law. Okay, so if at all I want to complete this parallelogram, what can I do using the user interface? So I would want a line parallel to OA passing through B. Okay. So I can use this parallel line. However, so this parallel line uh, does not work on the vectors. I mean, there is some uh, geometric or mathematical interpretation there, different one. So instead, what we will do is we'll try to hide these vectors for now and have segments for OA and OB. So let me have segment OA is segment between O and A. Similarly, segment between OB is segment between and B. So these two have been done. So using the tools, let us look at this parallel line command. If I select this parallel line, it says select parallel line and a point. So we want a line parallel to this OA. So please select anywhere when the hand symbol comes. And in what direction? So it has to pass through point B. Okay. So that is the parallel line. So we have drawn. Similarly, we want another parallel line of OB passing through point A. You move the mouse on top of A and leave it. So the intersection point, what you have there is important for us. How do you get the intersection point? Select point command and click there. So that is the intersection point. Okay. Now, point C has been captured So we can have segment C as segment between O and C. So that is the resultant vector, the diagonal of the parallelogram. If you want to write it, draw it as a vector, you can also draw vector OC as vector between O and O. 
and C. Okay. So that is also drawn. So I can hide the segment and show only vector. Similarly, these segments I can hide and show the vectors. So the parallelogram law has been demonstrated very easily using GeoGebra. Now what happens if I change the values? If I make it 8,6, you can see one of the vector got updated. The other one was same. The parallelogram got updated. Okay. Now, how do you find the length of this OC vector? Vector OC, magnitude of OC is a function called length. And I can give the parameter OC. So that is the length magnitude OC is given. If I change the point, maybe B I'll change now. So point B went to the third quadrant, then the length of the magnitude or magnitude is again calculated based on whatever is a new geometry. So vectors can be easily checked where they are and if you want to uh, sum two vectors sum of two vectors what whatever it is let's say we have vector oa plus vector b so this particular vector when i typed it you would have seen the column format if at all you want to know the uh, resolution of that vector, I can say x of sum is a parameter. I'll say x of sum of vectors, sum of two vectors. That is a variable name I have. So that is a five component. Similarly, I'll have y sum is equal to y of sum of vectors, five and one so that those are the components of this particular point c okay so a lot of things can be done using geogebra where parallelogram law vector addition vector subtraction and other things can be taught to the students thank you